Nahum Goodman was an Israeli painter, sculptor and author, who was able to well describe the scenes of his childhood and stages of his life in heartwarming, creative works. Let us start on a voyage into the life of Nahum Goodman. works are from the collection of the Nahum Goodman Museum, located at Beit HaSofrim, in the Nevet Sedek neighborhood in Tel Aviv. Nahum Goodman was born in the village of Tel Aneshti in Bessarabia. His father was a Hebrew writer and educator, who published stories under the nom de plume of S. Ben Zion. When he was five years old, he immigrated to Israel with his family. At the beginning, they lived in Neve Tzedek, the first Jewish neighborhood built outside the walls of Jaffa. But after his mother's death, they moved to the new neighborhood, which was built on the sands, Ahuzat Bait, which later became the city of Tel Aviv. Nahum Gutman depicted the first builders of the city of Tel Aviv. Gutman, who loved to paint from an early age, began during this period to study painting with the painter Ira Yan. Subsequently, he went to Jerusalem and began studying in the Bezalel School of Art. In 1917, just before the end of the First World War, the Turkish rulers expelled the Jewish residents of Tel Aviv to settlements in the Galilee and Sharon areas. He wrote about and illustrated his memories of this period in his book entitled The Orange Peel Trail. During the period of the British Mandate, Nahum Goodman volunteered for the Jewish Brigade and served in the British Army as a guard in a camp for Turkish prisoners of war in Egypt. After his discharge from the army, he continued with his art studies in Europe, where he completed his studies in print and engraving. In Berlin, he met with a group of Hebrew writers and began to illustrate their books. The first book given to him to illustrate was of the poet Chaim Nachman Bialik, who was a friend of his father and had identified Nahum's talent during his childhood. He returned to Israel in 1926 and was part of a group of artists that created the Eretz Israel style. The subjects of the works were the land of Israel, its scenery and its people, the emphasis being placed on the stark colours and the bright light of the country. In the 1930s, Nahum Goodman began to design scenery for plays. In addition, he was appointed to the position of the regular illustrator of the children's Devar supplement. During that period, Goodman was sent to South Africa he sent illustrated stories to Children's Devar from his journeys in the African continent, in which he added and developed an imaginary adventure story in the African jungle. The story of Gutman's first book was derived from these reports and was called In the Land of Lobangulu, King of Zulu. 1948, the Israeli War of Independence. Gutman served as a military artist and in his works, he depicted the experiences of the fighters of the Palmach and portraits of the commanders. His book, As We Were, was subsequently published in which he depicted the fighters. In the 1970s, Gutman started to work with clay. His ceramic sculptures are always based on the shape of the hollow pot. Here also, he continued dealing with the oriental figures that he loved with biblical heroes and characters from the first days of Tel Aviv. Nahum Goodman won many prizes for his literary work and contribution to Israeli illustrated works. He won the Israel Prize in 1978 for his contribution to children's literature. Nahum Goodman died in Tel Aviv on November 28, 1980, aged 82. Shortly before his death, the author and researcher Ehud Ben Ezra was able to record from him the story of his life. The story was published under the title Sun Dunes and Blue Sky. <laughs> 